Hi, I'm Ms. Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library. And for today's STEM activity, I'm going to show you a very cool chemical reaction using Kool-Aid. So most of you have probably done the vinegar and baking soda reaction, and this is very similar, and we'll talk about that in a second. For this activity, you're going to need a spoon, a clear cup, a glass would be fine. I'm using a plastic cup since I'm at the library, but a glass would be fine. You just want it to be clear so you can observe the chemical reaction. You'll need some Kool-Aid, just one of those small um, paper packets of Kool-Aid would be fine. This is just what I had on hand. Some baking soda and some water. You may also want something to protect your table and contain the reaction. If you've ever done the baking soda and the vinegar reaction, you know that it fizzes up and foams really, really well. And when it does that, it's probably going to overflow our glass. So you're going to want something to contain that reaction. That could be a casserole dish. Um, I like a casserole dish because it's clear and so you can still see the reaction really well. But if you're sitting over it, just something you can look down in and big. So a tray or um, a casserole dish works really well so you can contain it. You can also just do it in your sink though. That works as well, then you can just wash it away. So I'm going to take my, this is just a plastic um, top to a foil casserole dish and I like to use these plastic tops. I reuse them a lot for this. And I'm gonna put my cup in the center of that and I'm going to add some Kool-Aid. So vinegar and baking soda work because you're mixing, it's a chemical reaction that occurs when you mix a acid on the pH scale. Um, so the acid would be the vinegar and a base or an alkaline, which is the baking soda. And we're using baking soda today. So the only thing we're really changing in this reaction is that we're using Kool-Aid and water instead of vinegar. So how do you think that works? What, what do you think about Kool-Aid makes that difference? Well, Kool-Aid contains citric acid. Most Kool-Aids have kind of a citrusy sort of flavor to them. This one is Tropical Punch. Ooh, smells really sugary. So I'm gonna put two spoons, maybe three. This is not necessarily an exact science of Kool-Aid. Eh. let's do a big reaction. Let's do a couple more of Kool-Aid in there. So Kool-Aid contains citric acid, and as the name probably gives away, it is an acid. So citric acid is usually in powder form, and when we add baking soda to our Kool-Aid that contains citric acid, among other things, there's definitely other things in Kool-Aid, what do you think is going to happen when I add this baking soda? Nothing. And that's because the citric acid is still in powdered form. It's powdered in that Kool-Aid. So we're gonna mix these two together. I put about three heaping spoons of baking soda in there just now, and we're gonna mix them together just so that there'll be lots of baking soda particles touching our, touching our Kool-Aid particles. Tilt it so I can mix it a little bit better. So because our citric acid is still in powder form, even though it's touching our baking soda, it's not really reacting with it. And that's why we need the water. When we add the water, just like when you add water to Kool-Aid, what happens? That Kool-Aid, that powder starts to dissolve. It mixes in with the water. So when we add our water to this, it's going to dissolve that citric acid and turn it into a liquid. And when that citric acid becomes a liquid, we're going to get the same reaction that we would get, or a similar reaction anyway, that we would get with a vinegar. It's not the same. We'll see if it's more powerful or not. If you want to turn this into an experiment rather than a project, you can test Kool-Aid and baking soda versus vinegar and baking soda, and see which one gives you the bigger reaction. All right, we are gonna add our water now, and we'll see what happens. So we get fizz. 
And if I mix it down in there, my cup was pretty shallow, it'll keep fizzing as I reach more of the Kool-Aid. Pretty cool, huh? Now that was not a huge reaction. I am guessing that vinegar and baking soda would get us a bigger reaction, but that still was a pretty fun, pretty fun fizz. And it smells nice. I wouldn't drink it though. It's probably really salty from the baking soda. I hope you guys had fun and I hope you guys have fun testing this out. You can actually mix baking soda with a lot of different acids and I definitely encourage you to experiment with it and see which one gets you the most powerful reaction. I would bet you can get a more powerful reaction than this. But try this one at home too. Thank you guys.